Hey Mabel, there's some mistletoe. Should I get some mistletoe? We'll have a quick snog. Mwah. Mwah. No, maybe not. Today, we have come to a canal I have never visited in my life. It's gonna be a journey of discovery. But the most important thing is this sign. No matter what happens, there will be tea and there will be cakes. So, let's go and explore. Good girl, yes. knew this canal existed it's it's quite close to where I live uh, and I was driving the other day to do some work and I went over a bridge found this canal so that's why we're walking here today I wasn't sure what it would be like could be cute could not be cute but I like it so far and it's got the Somerset Boat Centre we've just found where you can rent boats and things so maybe we'll come back next year when the weather's a bit better and take a boat out on the canal. Anyway, for the moment, let's just continue and explore. Come, Mabel. Come on. One of the many things that gets me strangely excited is benches. I love it when people get a bench and they put a plaque on it and I can come and read the plaque. This bench in particular is really exciting because it is in memory of Peter Charles Evans. And if you look on my phone, as I did before I came on the walk, I went on Google, looked in, and it's got like the tea rooms, Somerset Boat Centre. It also has this bench. It actually has a bench on Google Maps. I don't know why. And this is the very bench. So Peter Charles Evans, I don't know who you were, but um, yeah, we remember you uh, at this moment. And well done to the people who put this bench here. I do like a bit of random craziness. And so I just found this. It's a huge model of the sun. Just when I thought it was completely crazy, I read this bit. It's part of the Somerset Spacewalk. So, so far we've seen Mars, Earth, and now the sun. And it's all laid out along the towpath to scale. So each planet is to scale. So Mars was tiddly, Earth was really tiddly, and the sun's this big, which is rather nice. Informative and attractive. I like this canal. Come, Mabel. So this is where I'm going to turn around. We're going to head back to the tea room. Before I do that, a final bench. This time in memory of Mr. and Mrs. Goodlife or Goodliffe. Perfect. <laughs> The thing I love about this time of year is English apples. They're just uh, in season and there's lots of different ones. There's different, this is a russet. You get different names, different shapes, different flavors. And they're just fantastic. 
It's a taste of autumn in your pocket. So if you'll excuse me, I'm about to be very noisy. Cover your ears. I mentioned English apples earlier because uh, they're nice to eat. They're also very nice to look at. If you look over there, there's an entire orchard filled with apples on the tree and on the floor, except they're not, probably not eating apples. Around here, they tend to grow cider apples, which are good for cider, but not very good for eating. They're too bitter. <laughs> Come on, Mabel, Let's go and get some tea. So we've had a nice couple of hours walking along the Bridgewater and Taunton Canal and now we are right back where we began, at the tea room which is just over there. Trouble is there are lots of people at the tea room so it's busy and the next most important question, will they have coffee and cakes or will they have proper meals because I'm quite peckish. I actually fancy sausage and chips so fingers crossed. Let's see if there's any real food left after all those people have been eating. Yikes! Yikes. 